better get a gurney. Think Sam will be mad that we brought him here? Rizzo! Where the hell you been? Marcella said she'd been here an hour ago. Huh. You guys do what you gotta do. I got a client inside. No problem. So you think he knows what we meant? No. That's why we gotta be discreet about it and use a double decker. that lying, cheating, money-stealing, son of a bitch, low excuse of a husband. You want me to get rid of him? I will pay anything you want. Any amount. Name your price, Mr. McGee. hundred grand. You'll get the other half at his funeral. Fair enough. Let me get my things, I'll, I'll 
I'll bring them over. So are you a writer or something? Yeah, I'm writing the uh... The next bestseller novel. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So, uh, are you new in town? I haven't seen you around here before. Um, actually no, I don't live in town, just work. Where do you work? Um, I work at the... The salon down the street. I do makeup. Oh, cool. And you, are you a full time writer or do you have a, another job? I work at the local paper, but it's it's just a temporary thing right there until I get my book published. Oh, when's that gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> Andy, I've been looking all over for you. Hi, what's up? I need you to come to the office with me. Hey, hey, if you have to go. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah. Can I see you again? Can I get a name first? <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm Andy. Katrina. My friends call me Katrina. And I'm Ralph. Nice you two kids can chat another time. Alright, alright, fine. Bye. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wiggy. It's a pleasure doing business with you, Miss Davis. Big Leo's not gonna get a cut of this. <laughs> Give you if you give me some of the money. Forgive me for what? That woman. She's a client. Uh huh. Okay. Come on, are you serious? Do I have to tell my father what you're doing? I hate when you say that. Thanks, babe. Yeah. I'll see you at home. Yeah, you might. assignment you pulled me away for. Did I say it was big? Okay, well, no, but I figured it was if you went to come get me. Your phone is dead. Rule number one of a top reporter, always have your phone charged. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> so what's this? Your first assignment. You want me to interview someone at the funeral home? Not the workers. Read it. Okay, it's an obituary about some guy who likes the Renaissance fairs. So? So, I figured the place would be crawling with all those crazies dressed in costumes. Come on, Ralph. I want a real story. Show me you can get a real story behind this guy and I'll think about it. At least it's not a three-legged chicken. You guys are still out here? Come on, I got something for you. Someone's very important wife. She wants to hire us to take out the husband. Who's the husband? <laughs> Damn. Oh, no, no. Yeah. You know what this means, don't you? Sure. That's why I agree. What about Marcelo? 
Do the job, all right? Sooner the better, all right, guys? Let's do it.